all right everyone welcome back and in this video we're gonna start off with webpack i'm gonna set up a very basic webpack zero configuration project just to get a taste of it right so once you are done installing node and npm what you have to do is just verify first of all by writing node-v and npm-v in your command line and by the way this is vs code text editor if you don't know it you could download it from google it's completely free and it's awesome otherwise you can use just a regular command line and a text editor of your choice if you wish so once you see that you have these node and npm installed these need not be exactly same as mine but just make sure that you're running at least above node 10 uh, node 8 and uh, npm version 5 just make sure you're above that all right so once you do that what you have to do is uh, basically install webpack in your project so i am in a folder called webpack first project what i'm going to do is first of all initialize this as an npm project so that we get this nice little package.json file now i'm going to say npm install webpack and webpack cli right which is going to allow us to run the cli mode of webpack and i'm going to save this as a developer dependency right all right so once you do that you're going to get webpack and webpack cli installed now zero configuration for webpack requires a very specific kind of file structure right because webpack has that in default so what we need to do is first of all create a folder called distribution and create a folder called src so whatever like static assets and things you can put in distribution folder for example index.html could go in here right and I can say my first page and I have this script called main.js right so you have to follow these conventions if you are not using webpack configuration and inside src folder I'm going to create a file called index.js which acts as our entry point for webpack so you have to keep these names same right what I'm going to do is create another file let's say um, I don't know like uh, text.js something like that and inside index.js or rather inside text.js i'm going to export a function called uh, write to screen and i'm just going to say document.write hello world from webpack right and what i'm going to do is inside index.js i'm going to import this this function right here now remember we could not really do this without webpack although this syntax is now a little bit supported in browsers but still there's a long way to go so webpack allows us to bundle these module and what i'm going to do is simply say write to screen here we go so once i do that we have main.js included what i'm going to do is inside package.json replace this test with a script called build I'm going to say this is webpack so whenever we write npm run build webpack is going to be fired which is going to analyze this state this file structure get this index.js file resolve the imports for example this one is right to screen from this file and basically bundle them all and push them inside this distribution folder so let's just go ahead and say npm run build all right so now if you can see we have a main.js file right here present which kind of looks like compressed javascript but you could eventually see that it contains our code at the very end right so now if we run this inside a browser just to see if i open this inside a browser so let me just bring it here and uh, there we go so you see we see hello world from webpack which is executed by javascript so this was a quick little tutorial on zero configuration getting up and ready with webpack and in the further videos we're going to see how we can use webpack.config.js file to actually build something very useful so see you then in the next one